E, uh, e, 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 e. It's hot. Oh, we have my who no no go no t shirt. Those of you who don't know it, that's a fella on a clap of cootie saying that the iron pops are going on. We'll figure it out. Roll it back. It's probably not in frame now. It's a profound statement from the English, English language, you know, the English is the language of like, uh, how do you say, slavery, you know what I mean? You know, it's, look, I love that language, don't get me wrong, but you know, it's not the most, uh, whatever language, I don't get into that. Forgive me, it is hot. I'm talking about like 30 degrees with Celsius. I'm, what is that Fahrenheit? It's like, make like it's 90. Actually, it's more than that, it's like 36 today. I mean, I'm hot, burning up. So excuse me, look, I, I, I really, I want to make this uh, short, this, uh, if I didn't want to, I'm in the middle of moving households. That's the problem right now. And so I don't have time for a lot of stuff and plus the island doesn't have. Um, but uh, this, it's probably died down by now, but you know, there's a whole uh, Dr. Umar Johnson uh, and uh, Tariq Nasheed, you know, this thing, dispute. And before that, remember you had the Cornell West, uh, uh, Cornell Tanahashi Coates thing, you know. Then there was one more that I, that I brought up, you know. Anyway, the point is you have these things back and forth, you know. Um, so, but I do have to say something about this, only because, let me put it this way. Um, I met Dr. Umar Johnson here in the Eastern Cape of Southern Africa, or Republic of South Africa, if you will, which is unusual. Nobody comes to the Eastern Cape. So I was impressed. Right, you know, you know, people go to Cape Town, then they go to Joburg, they might go to, you know, Durban, you know, but they never stop over at Eastern Cape. We're talking Steve Biko company, uh, company, country, you know, the, uh, King Williamstown, well, he's in Queensbury, but King Williamstown area, you know, uh, but it's up from uh, uh, East London. I'm in Alice, um, but my point is nobody comes here, you know. In fact, I'm the only American <laughs> No, at least American students, postgraduate students. I mean, I don't, no, I don't know. I don't know. I ain't met them. You know, there must be somebody around here. I don't know. <laughs> but I've been here a long time. Anyway, but he came here, so I was impressed. And 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 and, and, and I spent some time with him because we was, we, we, was, we was at the University of, of uh, Fort Hare uh, down at the um, uh, the East London campus. You know, that's what they brought him. There was this whole brouhaha or something. I I, I documented it in, in another. And another thing, maybe I'll put that link uh, down here, something like that. Um, but anyway, but while, while we were on that trip, I said something to him, okay, because I knew about him. And then when people say he's coming, I said, really? And they said, and they said yeah, 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 come on. And so I so hung out, and, and that was part of the, uh, moving him around like that because, uh, you know, uh, the professor that organized it was the money person behind it, you know, was a friend of mine, and blah, blah, blah. But anyway, but I told him the people were, were, were talking to him, you know, because you know, he has that, he has that uh, star status, you know. Um, I'm sorry, let's do a little digression. I have to tell you a little bit, tiny, tiny bit about it. Let me just a little tiny, tiny, tiny digression, right? Um, at the age of 17, I was at the Negro Ensemble Company, a professional theater company in New York, right? That's where I started theater. Uh, and, and it was an interesting thing because I was one of the youngest people I think the second youngest person in the company and in, 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 in was the intermediate acting class, but in the whole thing, because you had the resident company, then you had the, 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 I guess the master class, I don't know what it is, then we had the intermediate class, and then later on they put a, a beginner's class in. So it was an intermediate class. And um, what I, and we was at the thing called uh, St. Saint, Saint Mark's Theater at the time, and it's like these, it was like a, a, a huge, a, a, a steep inclined staircase going up, to, uh, to, to like a, a, a I don't call it, I guess call it mezzanine floor. And there were some sort of offices in there, I believe, yeah, like that. Then come up another step, and that's where uh, all the, that's where the theater was, and also the, um, the shop, you know, where you build the sets and all the rest of that stuff. And then the, further up was the classes, the classroom where you had the dance studio, you know, where you also took karate, a bunch of, uh, up there like that. So I used to sit all the way up top, and I just could just sit all the way down. And I would see all these famous people coming through. You know, I'm talking about like your Otto Primages, your, your, your Harry Belafonte, your Sidney Portage, everybody would, would come through Negro Ensemble Company. So at a very young age, maybe just my conclusions were, I was never um, starstruck. I'm not into celebrity, I just not, you know. 
I, I mean, the, 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 I know it's people, or some people are awfully, awfully charismatic, but it doesn't, it doesn't affect me some way. And I think one of the things happened, I'm sorry to this digression, but um, our class, because, uh, you know, we had to give a, a production at the end of the year, whatever. And uh, so we did a production. Uh, one of the, uh, uh, I'm gonna say girls because we all were young, uh, girls, women in the class. Uh, Kashasha was like almost like my acting partner. She um, she wrote a play with me as a title character. And that's our class did this this play, right? And the play the play was called uh, The Last Dragon that she wrote. They're just not don't confuse it with the with the Tamar, with the Michael Schultz you know movie. Like right? Michael was our teacher at the time. Well, at the time when we did that, yeah, Michael was our teacher. Anyway, that's not the point. Um, and so we did this thing, and you know, I was the title character, and, you know, da, 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 da. and at the end, this production, right, you, you, you know, all our pictures were up in the, the lobby, and that, that second thing that was in the lobby, and because um, my picture was there, I had this crazy picture, and um, so we were all there, and then this girl comes up to me, right, she must have been about, like, remember, I'm sorry, she must have been about like 13, 14 years old, and she asked for my autograph. This was like weird. This was like, I, I, you know, it's my first thing. It was my first acting like in that kind of situation. You know what I mean? I think I played John John in, in, in you know, uh, Captain Hook. But it was at Peter Pan or something like that. I flooded my life. But, I, but anyway, my point is, and I was like, I, I didn't want to do it. I'm going like, huh? You know? And it was weird because I knew right then that, one, I was not into stardom. And two, I was not into celebrity at all. I did not want no celebrity or fame or nothing like that. Okay, back to the point. So they would, you know, with Omar Johnson, you know, people come inside. So I didn't want to bother me like that. But then like that, we were sitting outside of this balcony, this um, restaurant. Um, and so we had an opportunity, so I sat with him. And I, you know, I sat across and I said, you know, I really respect your work, especially those Tuesday morning sessions with, you know, with, 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 the, uh, with the parents, you know, and the child, doing like that's, that's invaluable. But I said, I do have one criticism. I don't think, because I've been listening to a lot of YouTube things at the time, this was like uh, two years ago, last year? A year and a half ago? I don't know, it was a year, maybe last year. Uh, two years ago, whenever it was. Um, and I said, but I think um, I have a, a constructive criticism. I don't think you should really go after these preachers, you know what I mean? You shouldn't, uh, I don't think you, you should talk about people, you know? I just, yeah, it must have been two years ago. I said, I don't think you should talk about people. I mean, just do what you do, and you, what you do is so valuable. There's no need to call out somebody or call somebody else out or call some names because it's just, there's no need to because you're, you're performing something that's amazing. There's other people that can do that, whatever have you. And he just sat there, whatever happened. He didn't affirm or not affirm. So I just said my thing. That was it. And I, and I usually, this is my overall philosophy. When you're past nine years old, you can't tell anybody anything. This is a philosophy I've lived with for a very long time. I use this all the time. So I know even when I'm talking to a teenager, whatever it is, I know they are not, they want not happening. I depend on maybe what I'm saying is logical or makes sense for this to happen. Okay, so this whole thing with, with them, I'm going like, this is not good, you know? This is not good at all. But more importantly, since that, after that time, maybe last year, a year and a half ago, I was uh, more fully introduced to the, uh, the works of, uh, of Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., which you all know. Oh, wait, 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 that's the book. It's always, hold on, hold on, hold on, don't go any place, stay right there. I'm coming right back with the things. I did my desk tour here in the office. Oh. I got the book uh, that you put out. I got a re. I could, it comes in a paperback. This is the first edition. There's a revised it's but it's called the United Independent Compensatory Code System. Look, it's just a code book, right? And it's basically a code, say a code of conduct, but a code of, of how you should do. So, for instance, um, there's a thing called uh, VGQ, Victims uh, uh, Guaranteed uh, uh, VGQ something, called Qualifications, Victims Qualifications, which means that. What I say is what I say. What somebody else says is what they say. We both, we both can say we, we both can say whatever we need to say because we are victims of racism or the system of Anglo-racist white supremacy. You see, we're the victims, so we can say anything. And that person's victimhood or that person when they say it, they they they're in their bailiwick. You know what I mean? I'm not in their bailiwick. I grew up in distant circumstances, like that. so I can't say that their thing is is correct or incorrect, just like they can't say my thing is correct or incorrect. You got it? But the other thing, one of the most important things about the code, there's a lot of things in the code. Let's go You should not, you, if you're following the code, you do not 
call names. They just called names. Somebody's a coon. So it's Uncle Tom. Well, Uncle Tom's not really a good thing. It's really Sambo was a guy. I won't get into that. But the point is, calling names, name calling, it's not cool. It, well, it's, not, it's not part of the code. And there's, I think there's a very real reason for this. Because say for instance, I call you a, 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 a coon today, and then you know, tomorrow you get some revelations, you know, Damascus falling off that donkey kind of thing, and you become a super revolutionary. Well, that coolness, though it applies today, now you're my ally, and you see? But, but now you're going to remember me as a person who was calling you names. You, you, you see? And I think I, I listen to Yvette Cornell a lot. All the time, there's a guy I called him one time, you know, it's called Leaving the Light On in the Motel. You see that metaphor? But the point really is this. You don't know, there's a, there's a, there's a thing, I'm, 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 I'm like a total warrior, you know what I mean? And there's a thing where you don't know if that person could be a double agent, triple agent. You know, take for instance, Donna Brazil, complete whatever, whatever. But since her, her book or her coming out against Hillary, that thing has, 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 has started a whole snowball effect. Hillary Clinton is in super trouble, that whole, that whole you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, all, it's super trouble. At the same time, then you call, um, Barack Obama's a knight in shining armor. Oh, remember, he's the guy that's bringing it, that, that, that made it so the UN troops can. We have UN troops coming into Chicago, I hear. Right? I haven't researched that thing yet, but you see? So, so you, you can't identify somebody, one name, call them one name, somebody, say, and not know. And no, you, you could, you're only responsible for your lane, and then you have, to be, you have to follow that code. And part of your code is not to call somebody. Right, I'm sorry, I should say, not to call him out his name. Like, friends, you can't even call somebody a racist unless they call themselves a racist. So I'm not going to call, you know, for instance, Donald Trump a racist. He doesn't call himself a racist or white supremacist. He doesn't call himself that, so I can't call him that. Right? You, you understand what, where that goes? I know it's kind of difficult because everybody's easy to, to you know? So, so that's what I really need to say. I didn't want to, uh, uh, look, I'm, I'm rushing between things. I'm really hot. I got to do some other stuff right now. I got to run back up with changing households, blah, 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 blah. Um, so just look, I said it before when Donald Trump, I said, look, they got their agenda. They're doing their agenda. What the most we should do is get your little group. You know what I mean? Like, like say, for instance, I've, uh, I, I, I listened to, to Nilly Fuller Jr. He's a broadcast whenever he's on Carl, Carl Nelson's show, where he has his regular Wednesday broadcast. I have to try to listen to that. Yvette Cornell, I listen to that. Then I was on, on the other tip, I, I listened to Jimmy Dore, you know, not like that. So my thing's very short. A few other people that I, that, that, that I, that I watch and, and pay attention to. Uh, so your, sh your thing should be short, and I'm not on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I, I never was on Facebook. I, wouldn't, I don't want to be zuckered. I never wanted to be suckered and from the beginning, so I never like that. So I only do uh, 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 Google, well, uh, G Plus, Google Plus, and uh, and YouTube, which you're watching right on. And of course, my YouTube thing also goes to uh, to Bitchu, you see. And uh, so that's all I deal with. And plus, uh, as you might see, that my, I don't have a lot of views, right? I don't have a lot of subscribers, whatever. I'm like a, an under 200 subscribers. I don't want a lot. Why don't you want to? No, I don't ask people to subscribe. Some of my friends I do, you know, but. Because I wanted to say small. I don't need thousands of people and all these trolls coming in, you know? I don't need that. And this and I and I did this because um, this thing is actually um, this whole YouTube thing is for arc I use you you for archival purposes only. Plus I don't go from there. I have also in other uh, I, I store these commentaries and whatever so I to have a Wakanda series, a bunch of my interviews, you know, they all they all I have someplace else, you know, on other drives or whatever have you. Eventually, you know, I guess I'll do one of those uh, you know, uh, uh, speech to text things and, and have books. <laughs> I don't know, you know, but, 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 so I just want to say, but what I'm trying to say for 2018, keep your group small, right? You don't have to follow everything, like say a Neely Fuller or a Yvette Cornell, you know, Breaking Brown or, or Jimmy Dore says, but you know, you should, plus I listen to all, I do pay attention to some really nut jobs, whatever have you, man. I'm sorry, there's one guy that I really, uh, 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 like, uh, that I listen to out of Japan, uh, uh, James Corbett, but, but my point is, you know, I, I tend to uh, listen to people who, uh, who give data and also in their notes they give, you know, where they got their stuff from so you can look at it. That comes from the days of having a subscription. I didn't have a subscription, but uh, uh, this magazine called uh, uh, Covert Action Information Bulletin. I used to check them out, but I like them because they always gave their sources and like that.
very, very good. And of course, I did have a subscription to IF Storm, uh, Dow Storm Weekly, which was a great publication, you know. Uh, so I'm into people who can research and whatever it is, just like you should be, okay? Then you don't have to just listen to me, because I'm just waxing, whatever I have you. And this thing's for other purposes, and so it doesn't, doesn't mean anything to you right now. So that's it. Don't fight, pick up, live by your code. Like, I don't curse and stuff like that. You know, it's once a year for my birthday. Uh, I have a steam valve like that. I think I'm going to change it now to twice a year. My birthday, which is in July, and also New Year's. I did New Year's Eve or New Year's Day or something like that. I, was, I need two two vows because there's a lot of stuff happening. Sometimes I feel like oh, I got to, you know, say some kind of foul language, you know, because he, this is supposed to be his team vow language. Well, the English language. So that's it. And that's it for me. T, from the Patterson's Taking the Train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.